they are learning here to discover the knowledge of the facts. Uh, thanks you very much. Uh, in this evening, it is indeed a beautiful African day. I think we had all enjoy refreshing our mind of seeing this good dancing and music. La Excellencies, uh, CEO and founder of AFT, Pastor Larry, Chairperson, Mrs. Patuba, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the organizers of this uh, good African day, and I'm quite 100% sure that next year, uh, African will not have a space in this hall. The way they had organized this had really shown us that there are African that can do a good job for Africans and the whole world. The second point, we are all aware that South Sudan is a new nation that got independent in July 9, 2011. So we are still on the list of United Nations, 194, the last nation that got independence. And uh, that was through a struggle of people of South Sudan that had fought for the longest African war. Uh, our people started fighting the first rebel movement in August of 1955. We had signed a peace agreement in uh, Addis Ababa Agreement in 1972, and after 10 years, we went back to war in 1983 to 2005. And out of comprehensive peace agreement, people of South Sudan voted for referendum that gave them independence in July 9, 2011. Of course, uh, out of that history, the only difference between us and other Africans that got independence, the, the colonizers had put in institutions. In Africa, we don't have institu in, in South Sudan, we don't have institutions that were put in place. So the leadership of the country had started from zero. We had to start building institutions. And because that distracted us to build a nation, because what we need the most is nation building, that can bring in all people of South Sudan, regardless of their race. We had over 60 different ethnic groups. And you can understand when you have over 60 out of 10 million populations, the size of the country is more than French and more than Afghanistan, and, 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 and it's bigger than Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda combined. With a lot of resources, we have oil and different national resources. South Sudan is a virgin land that has a lot of potentials. But because of that diversity, and the country need to build the nationhood so everybody belong to the same country, we have an incident that had happened in December last year, 2013. That is a bad thing. And I think everybody knows here South Sudan come to the surface because of that, uh, these weak, weak institutions and weak relationship between the stakeholders. Uh, but we assure you that the, the leadership of the country is trying very hard to bring peace to the country because we cannot afford to lose more lives. We had already lost out of the struggle over two million lives. And I think it will not make any sense after the one nation that have a common history as people of South Sudan going back to fight against themselves. But again, if we have to use history of our teacher, great nations went to big challenges. There is so many countries that went through a civil war, people fight, but I think we had to use this as a good lesson for all of us so that the country will come out more stronger 
And I assure you, South Sudan will never be the same again. People of South Sudan learn through this violence. And I think we are putting all our efforts across the ethnic line to make sure that people of South Sudan has to enjoy peace and we are going to provide a good governance to the people of South Sudan. And I think Africans need a support. We need a support from our African brothers because of course as an elders, when you got an independence, we assume that we are youngest nations and we need a support from our brothers Africans. We are still suffering with a, a small child diseases. So these we are just three years old. But with the support of African countries, we are sure that everything is going to be fine and we promise that we are going through that direction. I have to conclude because this event is not for speeches, it's not for politics, we are here to enjoy music, so I would just say it, uh, congratulations, and we accept the recognitions of AFT to the Near West Nations. Thank you very much. My question to you is this. What do you know about the Africa, uh, current Africa? Current Africa? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for that beautiful question. Um, it will be my pleasure to talk about current Africa because Africa has experienced a lot of developments in the few years that we have had. Africa in the past is different from Africa as we know it now, although there are some sectors that are lacking in development. I believe that Africa now, the mentality is changing. Africans are getting ready to, to uh, uh, excuse me, sorry. Africans are getting ready to uh, overcome challenges and to take on stands. I believe that new and current Africa is getting there and with the help of international bodies and of the constellation of Africa, we can get there. Thank you. What does winning Miss BAD mean to you, and how can you affect others by winning Miss BAD? By any chance, if I be Miss BAD, I'll try my possible best to carry the face of AFTV. Because the main reason of this show is to find somebody that is capable to pre present Africa wherever she may go. So we, I have to present the culture of Africa. I have to tell the world that Africa is beautiful. We are not just poor. We are not just anything. So we have culture. We are rich in, we are rich in mentality. We have good homes. We love our families and we love our friends. We take everybody as brothers and sisters. So thank you. Clap for her, clap for her. compose toute l'Afrique. Euh, L'Afrique compose au moins 200 pays. 200 pays. Merci au beaucoup. Moins. Au moins. Merci beaucoup. Merci, au revoir. Si vous êtes élue ambassadrice de l'Afrique, oui. vous avez eu une idée de ce que vous pouvez faire pour euh, les enfants en Afrique euh, J'aimerais bien aider euh, les femmes qui sont violées, parce que ça me touche vraiment, euh, et voilà, j'aimerais bien les aider. Et aussi, euh, par exemple, aussi aider euh, les enfants, euh, genre les orphelins et tout. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. Ouais. What impact is your winning today going to give to the, uh, the African youth? I believe the African youth is the next generation. They are the most important thing. And we should 
I believe I would empower them to um, embrace their culture, their heritage, and their uh, roots. Um, despite our differences in Africa and uh, despite different countries um, that are here in Africa, we are still all children of Mama Africa, and I think that's the most important thing. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Are you feeling good? Yeah. Great. Tell me, if you do win this crown, how are you going to represent AFTV wherever you go? I'm just not going to represent myself just like the way I do from outside because I believe beauty starts from inside. As they say, charity begins at home. I will be as a good role model, not only to my brothers and sisters, but also to unborn brothers and sisters who are still coming on their way. Thank you. Je me demandais ce que tout le monde a souvent euh, une image négative de l'Afrique. Et si tu peux nous décrire en 30 secondes ce que toi tu penses de l'Afrique, l'avenir de l'Afrique, si l'Afrique a une chance de se développer comme l'Europe et les autres continents. Ah oui, bien sûr. Merci pour la question. Euh, bien sûr, je confiance à l'avenir de l'Afrique. Euh, Qu'est-ce que je voudrais aussi dire, c'est qu'on doit faire confiance sur, notre, sur la jeunesse, mettre un investissement sur la jeunesse, parce que c'est ça euh, notre avenir. Alors oui, bien sûr, j'ai la confiance sur euh, l'avenir de l'Afrique. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Alors je me présente, je m'appelle Megan Luya, j'ai 21 ans, j'habite à l'Eden et je fais les études de tourisme. Et en 1er juin 2013, je suis élue Miss Congo Netherland. On vous voit sur le podium, très bien habillé. Vous pouvez vous décrire en quelques secondes ce que vous êtes de l'intérieur euh, je suis une... quelqu'un de très humble, euh, j'ai de la compréhension pour les autres et euh, je suis une fille qui est euh, très joyeuse, j'apprécie la vie et c'est tout ce que j'ai euh, à dire à propos de moi-même. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Bonjour. On est dans un pays étranger. Et si vous avez l'occasion de rentrer en Afrique, qu'est-ce que vous allez emporter Vous avez une idée Euh, tout d'abord, bonsoir à tous. Merci d'être venu à la soirée. Euh, je m'appelle Bossé Marilène, j'ai 22 ans. Alors, euh, qu'est-ce que j'emporterai si je pars dans un pays étranger Alors, si, tout vous rentre, si vous rentrez en Afrique. Si je rentre en Afrique, euh, <rire> déjà, je, bah, je vais rentrer avec euh, ma Bible <rire> et euh, mes diplômes. Et mes diplômes parce que j'ai un projet humanitaire et je souhaiterais justement rentrer en Afrique pour le mettre en place. Et donc voilà, donc je rentrerai avec, avec bah, tout, euh, tous, mes tous mes diplômes et je proposerai justement au gouvernement ou, ou, ou en place mon projet humanitaire qui est le dépistage dentaire en Afrique.
Merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Bonjour. Tout juste petite question. Qu'est-ce que l'Afrique représente pour vous um, Tout d'abord, bonsoir à tous. Uh, I don't uh, speak English, sorry. Um, je m'appelle Esther Douga, j'ai 19 ans, j'ai été élue Miss Côte d'Ivoire France 2013. Um, Qu'est-ce que l'Afrique représente pour moi Alors, l'Afrique étant le berceau de l'humanité, je trouve en l'Afrique déjà toutes mes racines, mes origines. Euh, une fois en Afrique, je me sens vraiment chez moi. Ce qu'elle représente, c'est euh, le début, j'ai envie de dire le commencement, parce que si on ne sait pas d'où l'on vient, on ne peut pas savoir où on va. Donc, euh, retour, retourner aux racines, retourner à mes origines, c'est vraiment important pour moi. Donc, je dirais que l'Afrique a une grande place dans ma vie en tant que femme, en tant qu'Africaine. Donc, euh, voilà, je vous remercie. Alors bonsoir à toutes et à tous, je me présente, je m'appelle Aïzara Belaou, j'ai 21 ans, je viens de France et j'ai été élue Miss Diarinque France 2013. Une question la jeunesse africaine, c'est l'avenir de l'Afrique. Vous pensez que j'ai raison Oui, vous avez raison, parce que pour moi, les enfants, c'est l'avenir de demain. Voilà, nos parents sont là, mais plus tard, ce sont les enfants qui vont faire avancer l'Afrique. Sans eux, il bah, n'y a pas d'avenir. Présentez-vous s'il vous plaît. Bonsoir à tous, je m'appelle Fatouba, j'ai été élue au titre de Miss Peul Diaspora 2013. Je suis d'origine du Sénégal et c'est avec une grande fierté que je me présente ce soir à vous. Vous êtes parmi nous aujourd'hui, c'est notre deuxième question. Oui. Quelle expérience vous tirez de cette journée Alors tout d'abord, je trouve que c'est magnifique qu'on puisse tous se réunir pour honorer l'Afrique. Pour montrer que l'Afrique, elle est grande. Que même si dans l'Afrique, il y a beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de souffrance, parce que moi, personnellement, je trouve que notre continent, il souffre. Et on n'en parle pas assez. Des enfants qui meurent de faim, des enfants qui meurent de maladies, des enfants qui meurent de guerre, des enfants qui meurent à cause de la coutume ou de la religion ou d'autres choses, je trouve ça inacceptable. Ce, enfin, cette journée, je pense que c'est vraiment un moyen de se réunir et de dire qu'on est tous ensemble, qu'on vienne du Sénégal, du Mali, du Nigeria, de, de n'importe où, mais qu'on est ensemble et qu'on se soutient et qu'on se sent concerné par chaque chose qui se passe en Afrique. Et pour moi, c'est vraiment un honneur d'être là parce que je suis quelqu'un qui est extrêmement attaché à ses racines, extrêmement attaché à ce continent. Et euh, je ne peux pas être plus fier que d'être ici devant vous ce soir et de m'exprimer devant vous. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie, merci à vous. Think yes. you have that will qualify you to be Miss Beautiful African Day 
that you, the rest don't have. So first, let me thank you, Netherlands, for welcoming us. All the people are very nice here, and I'm very thankful to have the chance to be here. And what I think that, have, that I have more is determination. I have uh, already worked for female rights in Africa, and I'm still working on it. I'm very, how do you say? I put my heart in what I do, and I believe that I can really change things, especially in Africa. I believe in his future, and that's why I know that I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it go further. Okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous pouvez vous présenter, s'il vous plaît Bonjour, je m'appelle Ewen Sanon, j'ai 30 ans et je suis d'originaire d'Haïti. Je viens d'Aquin. Voilà. Notre deuxième question, euh, on sait que votre pays se trouve dans un autre continent. Oui. Et qu'est-ce que l'Afrique représente pour vous Alors. Bonsoir à tous déjà. Je suis très content d'être à Rotterdam par, parmi vous. Alors l'Afrique représente pour moi déjà la terre mer. Donc je pense que nos origines sont d'ici. On, on, est, on est tous africains, quels que soient les Dom Tom, Haïti, Guadeloupe, n'importe quel autre pays. On vient tous de là-bas. Et pour moi, le fait d'être parmi vous et de m'impliquer avec, avec l'Afrique, c'est pour moi, c'est pour élargir, élargir l'aide que, que Haïti a besoin, que les Africains ont besoin, parce que j'ai vraiment envie de, de me mobiliser avec vous pour pouvoir faire, faire, faire beaucoup pour, pour mon peuple, beaucoup pour mon, mon pays, car beaucoup d'enfants sont, sont démunis, beaucoup d'enfants ont besoin, ont besoin de, de nous. Donc c'est pour ça que je suis là aujourd'hui. Mon combat, c'est Haïti, c'est l'Afrique, c'est pareil, c'est la même famille. Donc j'ai besoin vraiment de, de votre aide pour pouvoir y arriver. Voilà, merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Vous vous présentez s'il vous plaît. Je m'appelle Marco, j'ai 22 ans. J'habite en France, à Paris, et voilà, je suis, je suis super content d'être parmi vous. Et dommage que je ne parle pas anglais. Excuse me, uh, I don't speak English. Donc, uh, um, si je vous demande, uh, vous et l'Afrique, qu'est-ce que vous me diriez Moi et l'Afrique je suis né en Afrique. Pour moi, l'Afrique, c'est un pays rempli de richesses. Pour moi, l'Afrique, c'est la fête. Et il y a toujours le sourire. Malgré les misères, on garde le sourire et on essaie d'avancer. Merci, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Love Africa. Have you been to Africa before? Yes. What part? What part of Africa have you been to? In Congo, because I'm from Congo. Could you, could you tell the audience a little story about Congo? Um, could you tell the audience a little story of Congo? Oh, um, when I was in Congo, uh, I see a, a lot of people um, who makes me rem Excusez-moi, je peux parler en français, j'ai un peu du mal okay, avec ça. Quand je suis allé au Congo, j'ai vu beaucoup d'enfants de, qui m'ont vraiment fait réfléchir sur, sur l'importance de la vie. Car quand on vit en Europe, on a, on a beaucoup de choses, on, on, on a beaucoup de choses brillantes, etc. Et eux, ils n'ont rien. Et quand on leur donne, ils sont tout contents, même si pour nous, ça paraît peu. 
eux, pour eux, c'est énorme. Et ça, ça fait réellement réfléchir sur, sur l'importance de la vie, sur les choses importantes, sur ce, sur ce qui a réellement à se concentrer. Et ça donne envie d'aider les gens aussi, vu qu'ils nous le rendent très bien. Merci. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Je me présente, je m'appelle Vani. Présentez-vous s'il vous plaît. Mister Kinbraza. Je représente le Congo. Merci. Soyez la bienvenue. Merci. Euh, notre question est celle-ci. Qu'est-ce que vous avez de plus que les autres candidats Ce que j'ai de plus que les autres candidats, ma motivation, ma détermination. Attends. Je suis prêt à aider mon continent, l'Afrique. Je suis un, un enfant africain. Mes parents viennent d'Afrique. Donc c'est avec plaisir que j'ai l'honneur d'être devant vous ce soir en étant africain, vous tous. Noirs, blancs, arabes, nous sommes tous des frères. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. He is the bedrock of AFTV with the power of Omari Girl. He is the managing director, the CEO. I want to call him to give awards to some people who deserve it from Africa. You know, as an African business and a starting company, we face a lot of challenges. People say a lot of fancy and beautiful things about us, but we don't really care because we know where we are going. We are driving a bus and we believe that if you get on the bus, you'll get on the destination with us. If you don't get on the bus, you will see us at the destination. Amen? But one of the, one of the objectives of the African television entity is to encourage our community. We, we encourage the Africans by giving them hope, by giving them employment, by giving them support. And in doing that, we believe that we fulfill our calling. But as you do that, you have to appreciate those that God brings your way to make that dream come true. So today we have about, I don't want to say the number, but so many lovely people that have supported us in the past two years. People that God has brought our way that we want to say thank you in our own special way. So we have three categories of recipients of our award that we're going to be recognizing tonight. But before we do that, I want to introduce to you, to you a young man, a talented African, one of the people that we are supporting. Can I please have Elvis the designer? Please put your hands together for him. <laughs> now we're both wearing African clothing. Do you see that? But his own looks better than mine, don't it? <laughs> Can I borrow your cap? <laughs> Well, Elvis is a Nigerian and a designer. You know, for, for those of us growing up, yeah. those days, if, if they say a man is a tailor, it's like, ah, it's a women thing. Mm -hmm. But now we hear of uh, Versace, Amani, uh, my name is Lala, and I'm going to start another one called Lala, Larry, Larry Design. But it's my pleasure to introduce to you Elvis, the designer, All those lovely ladies that you saw on stage tonight in the Flisco attire, this is the gentleman who has been putting those things together. <laughs> There's also a lady who couldn't join us tonight. Her name is Benice. She's also contributed to the fashion. So in abstention, can we please put our hands together for Benice? 
And I'm going to give Elvis 30 seconds to address the audience. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Elvis, fashion designer. I live in Den Haag. So I just want to introduce myself because I'm a tailor. Uh, I, live, um, I have a store in uh, from Sagerland. If you know it, they have very, very good. Number 26 from Sagerland. So uh, I just want to introduce, I make the, the clothes for the girls. The model that they're wearing, I make them. So if you want to make um, a design or whatever clothes, you can call on me. Please put your hands together, even though you don't understand half what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, what he said was, he's Elvis the designer and he's in The Hague. So if you need to wear something colorful like this, you can call us at AFTV and we'll give you his number. But he's one of the young men that we're promoting and supporting because he's got a natural talent for putting this together. One more time, please put your hands together for Elvis. Now tonight, by virtue of God's grace, we're going to recognize some friends of AFTV, and we're handing out this trophy. We have three categories. Rwanda, as a country, is receiving the most significant recognition tonight. You know, <laughs> it's funny that the first trophy that I grab is probably, after Rwanda, the most important one to me. You know, in Africa, we have a thing called, uh, people use Africa and they say African time. You know, when you're late, they say African time. When you don't do it, they say oh, African. They try to associate everything bad to Africa. And even we Africans, we're so caught up in that that we begin to describe ourselves like that. The trophy that I'm holding tonight is a recognition to a member of the African community who travels from somewhere around Nijmegen to The Hague to have a meeting for the committee of BAD. This event was put together by a bunch of men and women who sacrificed time coming to African television office to meet, to plan, decide the budget, the feeding, and what, and location. And this man never missed one meeting, and he comes the farthest from everyone. And he also is on time. I'm saying, people who live in The Hague come late, but this man comes from almost Nijmegen, and he comes before them. So ladies and gentlemen, we are presenting the first recognition tonight, the African Television Award for African Keeping to Time. We are giving that. We are giving that award to Mr. Bo from South Sudan. Where are you? Come here. Please stand up for time. Stand up for time. Stand up for time. Stand up for time. Mr. Bo is from South Sudan. Stand up for time. Learn to be on time. And he's going to say a very short word. Thank you. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, excellencies. With honor and esteem, I'm proud to accept this award and say thank you for having chosen me to be one of the award winners. When it comes to punctuality, time means to us a lot. But above all, time is our age. It, uh, because time that we, lo that we lose co count on our, on our age. To my colleagues, I owe them a great respect and grateful for their good cooperation and coordination job. Job well done. As one team, the special thanks to the chairperson, Madame Funky Patuba, and coordinator Samuel Chi Klepo. And last but not least, I am highly grateful to our CEO, 
Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the, the, uh, the founder of AFTV, Pastor Larry Omodia. For his precious idea, initiative, and role he played regarding award and good management. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, excellencies. Uh, communication, publicity, publicity manager, AFTV, African Television, The Hague, The Netherlands. Thank you once again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Juventus. Yes, South Sudan. South Sudan, oh hey. Oh hey, South Sudan. <laughs> That's for keeping to time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess it is my pleasure. Last year, we had beautiful Africa Day in The Hague. This year, we are holding it in Rotterdam. Last year, one of the best moments of beautiful Africa Day was the sound, the heartbeat of Africa, which was made possible by a group known as the Burundi Drummers. It is my pleasure, Burundi, it is my pleasure to give them the recognition for the best act for 2013 Beautiful Africa Day. Please, can I have the Burundi drummers? He didn't know. He did not know. That's how we do it, surprise. A lot of people in the audience, believe me, you'll be surprised. Please, put your hands together. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, again, last year, we had Beautiful Africa Day. And you know, I'm sorry, but in the African community, we have a thing about white guys dancing. It's like, it's hard. And you know, during the beautiful Africa Day, I could see all the Dutch, German people moving, clapping, dancing because of one young man. It is my honor and pleasure to present Best Performer uh, Pop Artist 2013 BAD Award to Nature Tangolo Master, aka Mwa Mama. I'm sorry, due to time, you're not going to hear all their lovely emotional comments. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we had last year, 2013, Beautiful Africa Day. He doesn't even know it, but maybe they gave him the secrets. There is only one person when you want to have an event in the African community. If you want your audience to laugh and you want them to follow the program, please, as I present to my son in the Lord, my brother, my friend, a very hardworking man, Ladies and gentlemen, 2013 and AFTV favorite MC, the MC of the night, MC Desmond. <laughs> Africa Michael Jackson. <laughs> nobody they do it there, they do if you nobody if you do it there, they do now, not if you try. Holy Ghost, fire! God will bless all of us, not me. <laughs> Please, um, he works very hard. He's popular in the African community, the best MC I've ever met, and the one and only favorite MC for African television. God bless you. Thank you, sir.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, for most of us Africans, we had to pass through, like I told you last night, the band performing were detained by immigration. And the Lord in the Bible says, wherever you step, you possess. But humans have made laws and say, you cannot go there, you cannot come here. They have called it immigration. Even if you have all the best intention to live a better life, some humans have made rules that makes it impossible for you. A lot of people die in the oceans trying to get to Europe and America, all in the name of immigration. A lot of families have been separated, all in the name of immigration. And just last night, we experienced that. But there is one man who is Dutch, there is this man who is helping Africans to regularize their stay and showing us what the law says about living in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, this man writes articles in the African community. He gives lectures and seminars pro bono for free. Not that you should call him and say, Pastor Larry said free. But it is my pleasure to honor this man for his services to the African community. I would like you all to please stand up, put your hands together for Antoine Kleinweg, the immigration lawyer. Thank you. You can, the award that he's receiving says Dutch African friend, the immigration lawyer. His name is Anton Klauweg. You can always call him. And he has a TV show on African television. So watch him for free. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In my hand, you know, everybody says African television, African television. There is a man that I call Angel. I don't think he's here tonight. And it will break my heart if he's not here, but I know if he's not, he's here in spirit. I call him an angel because the name Beautiful Africa Day came from that man. African television came from the inspiration of God through me, but when I presented our case to this man, he came up with Beautiful Africa Day as a slogan, Beautiful Africa, and he has been supporting us for the past two years. I don't even want to tell you the extent of this man. I don't know if you are here, if you are here from Media Choice, please stand up. Ferry Owendike from Media Choice. Also, recognizing significant work in the African community, a voice that has been speaking for the past 14 years, a publication that has been telling the African stories, a friend of AFTV, one of our media partners, Voice Magazine. I don't know if you're here, Elvis Irua. Again, you know, without, without the Bible, I say this world would be very barbaric. But it is men that translate the meaning of the Bible and men that gives us the nuggets in the Bible and help us to live a morally sustainable life. We are giving the award of spiritual leader in the African community to Pastor Abashi of the Redeemed Christian Church. Is he here? Is Pastor Abashi here? Okay, he's not here. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we end the first category. There are two more categories of our award that are coming up. But until we get there, I will hand you over to the MC for more entertainment. God bless you. Put your hands together for this wonderful fashion designer, Kalanjo. Kalanjo.
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, put your hands together for this one. That's Somalia, Somalia and the building. I'm not a 
Put your hands together, put your hands together. Somalians, beautiful Somalians. It is what it is. FTV. Thank you. Thank you. Put your hands together. Put your hands together.
This is intermission. This is the heart of the program tonight. Followed by another hat and another one. We are recognizing some very important people and corporations. We tag this the second category of award, and after this, there's another category after some more entertainment. But this segment is very important to me. I wish we have the national anthem of the country of Rwanda, we would play it to honor the country. After 20 years surviving the genocide era, Rwanda as a country has transformed itself. Rwanda been the award recognition for peace and justice in Africa. His Excellency President Paul Kagame will personally be visited by AFTV to receive a bigger authenticated wooden award by African television deserving of an African heritage. So, but before we call on the delegates from the Embassy of Rwanda, I want to let you know that controversies will always come. People will always say, oh, why Rwanda? What this, what that? No matter what you do in life, people will always talk about you. But as long as you know, according to the Bible, whatever so true, whatever so good, whatever so pure, you meditate on this. And this is part of the moving mechanism of AFTV. We move forward doing what we think is right. I know some of you would criticize Rwanda, but go and look at the statistics. Rwanda has empowered women more than any other country in the global community today. You didn't clap for that. That tells me you don't understand what I'm talking about. Rwanda GDP has grown, and if you look at the fact that they survived a very bad era, and they beat a lot of other countries in transformation, you would understand why we are giving them this recognition. But above all, this recognition for peace and justice is to encourage your country, is to encourage you to seek peace and to seek transformation. Wherever you see evil, speak against it and make sure that you stand for what's right. This is why we are giving Rwanda the recognition. So having said that, I would like to call on the delegates, the ambassador of the country of Rwanda to the Netherlands, His Excellency, to please come forward on behalf of the ambassador and receive the award for peace and justice. And I would encourage everyone to stand up because this is the president of Rwanda in abstentia that is coming to the podium. Please. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Rory. Uh, you allow me to uh, deliver my speech because 
this is a so important uh, occasion for for us. I have a, a very not long, but uh, uh, I need to to address you and the audience today, this evening. Uh, Excellencies, ambassadors here present, dear Pastor Rari, friend of Rwanda, but a friend of Africa, son of Africa, dear team of AFTV here present, distinguished guests, fellow Rwandans, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure, an honor, and privilege for me to stand in front of you this night to receive on behalf of His Excellency, President Paul Kagame, the President of the Republic of Rwanda, an award dedicated to him by the African television for promoting peace and justice. Uh, as you are, you are aware, EFTV, the African television, led by Pastor Larry Omodia, is the first African TV station in, in the Netherlands. And contrary to many other televisions, it has the specificity of promoting Africa in the Western world, whereby other televisions are focusing only on negative events happening in our continent. One of the goals of EFTV is to assist African embassies, African communities present in the Netherlands and in Brussels in promoting their countries and in so doing AFTV is doing a quarter of our job as embassies and as African communities. And for that, we are really very thankful and grateful for it. And uh, uh, I want to assure you today that uh, as you have been doing together, we are going to stay together in uh, promoting our continent and be with our community. Uh, as I said, uh, dear Lori, uh, this award come, comes 20 years after the genocide that took place in Rwanda. It was a so bad time for Rwanda. It was a so sad period for us. While did nothing. Tutsi of Rwanda were killed in 100 days in the genocide. But unfortunately, fortunately, the genocide was stopped by the RPF, led then by President Porokagami. And they liberated Rwanda in the hands of killers and established peace, security, and justice for Rwanda. Allow me to, day to let you know that uh, last April 7th in Rwanda, the world and the Rwandans gathered to get together in Rwanda to commemorate this event. And uh, during this speech, President Kagame said, and I quote, Rwanda was supposed to be a failed state. Watching the news today, it is not hard to imagine how we could have ended up. We could have become a permanent UN protectorate with little hope of ever recovering nationhood. We could have allowed the country to be physically divided with groups deemed incompatible assigned to different corners. We could have been engulfed in never-ending civil war with endless streams of refugees and 
our children sick and uneducated. But we did not end up like that. What prevented these alternative scenarios was the choice of the people of Rwanda. In 1994, everything was a priority and uh, our people were completely broken. But we did make, make three, fundament, three fundamental choices that guide us even today. One, we choose to stay together. Two, we choose to be accountable to our people and to ourselves. Three, we choose to think big and to go forward. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we all agree that without peace and justice in a country, it is useless to think about development. And uh, during these last 20 years, Rwanda experienced peace and security and justice. And it's why today we are recording so much progress in Rwanda. As Pastor Larry said, uh, Rwanda is number one in empowering the women at the, at the extent that today 64% in the parliament in Rwanda are ladies. Today, 96 of Rwanda's boys and girls are enrolled in primary schools and over 90% of the population has access to health. And this is done without uh, discrimination. Radical reforms have made easier for business and women to get credit, register their companies, pay taxes, minimize paperwork in administration. And all of these have been boosted Rwanda and Rwanda became in the last World Bank doing business report, the second most improved country in the world and the second easiest place to do business in Africa. <laughs> and uh, Rwanda is one of the countries on track to achieve the almost the UN MDGs by 2015, and we are targeting to achieve 11.5 growth rate annually, and uh, all predicted that uh, we shall succeed in these endeavors. As I said earlier, in this positive development, we were possible because Rwanda managed to establish peace and security, and uh, these is because we had uh, President Kagame as our leaders. <laughs> Another thing I would like to let you know is that uh, considering our history, we know very well that uh, we know very well the heavy cost and consequences and indif of indifference and inaction when international community does not take decision or action when necessary. We know very well what happens when global actors are unable to take decision and action to protect populations and establish peace and security. We know it because we paid a heavy cost. It's why the new leadership of Rwanda under Paul Kagame decided to be wherever there is need for peace and security for human beings. As a matter of fact, Rwanda is currently serving in the UN Security Council, and for the past decade, the Rwanda Defense Forces have contributed peacekeepers to Darfur Sudan, South Sudan, Cote d'Ivoire, Mali, Central African Republic, Liberia, and Haiti. 
Our presence in those places has been very beneficial in alleviating the human suffering, but also in keeping the safe in keeping safe the public and private properties. Every country emerging out of conflicts needs a visionary leadership. And we Rwandans has been very lucky to have President Paul Kagame as a leader. The choice of EFTV to deliver an award to him today is indeed a just and right recognition of what he had achieved with Rwanda. And in concluding, let me thank you again, Pastor Rari, to thank you for organizing this beautiful event. I'm really surprised and really happy to be here today, seeing Africans together especially see, uh, seeing uh, young Africans here entertaining themselves, but having elders here trying to uh, teach them or to talk to them and try to make them aware of what African is capable of or what African can do or what Africans can do for Africa. So I thank you for that, and uh, I want to assure you that uh, this award, uh, before you come to Rwanda, will be handed over to President Kagame, and I will convey your greetings to him and let him know that uh, you will be very soon in Rwanda to give you yourself uh, the official uh, award. And uh, again, I'd like to uh, inform you that uh, we will, would like to be part uh, of this evening, uh, you know, uh, actors. And uh, when we are going to Rwanda, we would like to you be accompanied by the winner of this evening uh, contest, a lady or the man who will be winning this, uh, this contest today. And uh, we want them to come to Rwanda to know more about Rwanda and Africa, the part of Africa, and to visit and to see how Rwanda is also beautiful, but how also Rwanda is doing well coming from you know, nothing and to be where to, to we are today. So I thank you very much and uh, I wish you a very uh, nice evening this night. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. You wanted to take a picture again? Yeah, oh, more pictures? Yes. All right, pictures. <laughs> What I didn't tell you, and what His Excellency didn't tell you, is that African Television, in collaboration with our corporate partners, will be traveling to Rwanda to plant 500 homes tagged the Peace Village in Rwanda. We are working on that, and you will hear about it. You know, when a small boy from Africa comes and approaches big corporations, and says to them, we will do this, we'll do that. A lot of people don't even let you go beyond the reception. When we made contact with this corporation, they received us with open arms, and they have since supported African television. And the biggest part of it is that for several years, since 1846, I can't even, my maths are not good. I don't even know how far that is. They've been clothing Africans. What I'm wearing, 
what she's wearing, what most people are wearing, is produced by this corporation that has the passion to clothe Africans. It is my honor to say thank you for taking on this little boy, this little company, and giving us a chance to promote you. But above all, my mom and my great-great-grandmom were wearing your clothes before I was ever born. So I would like to invite the delegates from Flisco, if you please put your hands together for them. Flisco is receiving the recognition for clothing Africans since 1846. A Salome in the house, please. There you go, there you go. Please put your hands together for Flisco. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a pleasure to receive this award on behalf of LISCO, especially as proud uh, Africans. Uh, my colleague is from South Africa, eh? so <laughs> <laughs> especially because LISCO has been integrated into the culture of Africans. You all bear with me, uh, we grew up with LISCO, we stand for quality, innovation, sophistication, so I'm very, very happy uh, to be honored uh, in that respect. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You know, there's something that says the young shall grow. Only those from Nigeria probably understand what I mean. The next recognition, ladies and gentlemen, some people fight and fight because of this agreement, but some people they agree to disagree, and that is the case of this recognition. I'm honored as the CEO of African TV to say I'm proud of South Sudan being the newest country in Africa without any further bloodshed. We'd like to honor the country of South Sudan, His Excellency, the Ambassador of South Sudan, and the house is yet to receive the recognition. Please put your hands together for the youngest country in Africa, South Sudan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, South Sudan, oh yeah. Uh, thanks you, uh, Pastor. Uh, it is a pleasure and an honor to receive this uh, award. I think this uh, is very important to, to say that this is a welcoming to African community. We have been a member for three years, and we are all proud to be an independent state which we know we are going to put something in African community. Thanks you again for this award. You know, Flisco has been feeding I mean, Flisco has been clothing Africans since 1846. But there is a company that has been feeding Africans in Europe and abroad for as long as I can remember. And again, just like the case of Flisco, when a little boy knocks on your door and you say, I'm going to give you a chance, that is the case of this corporation. For most of you, You've seen the red bags, you've received red bags. They're promotional bags, but the ability to take on a small company and recognize that African television can promote Africans and giving us a chance, would like to say thank you to our business client and partner, Unidex Holland, for the award and recognition of feeding Africans abroad. Can I have the delegates from Unidex, please? The delegates from Unidex, are they here? Okay, I know they're here. Oh, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Please put your hands together. All the fufu and malt and okra that you eat at home, 
They come from this lady here. Please put your hands together one more time for Unidex. Thank you. Thank you. This is the recognition for feeding Africans. The initiative to say, hey, they are abroad and they need their own food. That's what they do. They have over 900 different food items that you eat. So please, one more time, put your hands together for Unidex. I have a small thing to say. Is that huh? okay? Yeah, you want to make a speech? Well, first of all, uh, Pastor Larry, thank you for organizing this great event. Um, it's really nice to see that the African community is so talented, has a really nice culture, and I really enjoyed it to have a look in your African kitchen. I would like to explain um, something about the project we are doing now. Uh, we know church is very important for the uh, African uh, people. Um, we uh, would like to support African Church by giving free products. The products you've all seen today in the Vimto bags. For a small to donation to church, you will get a free food bag uh, with really nice products in it. And Pastor Larry and his team are each Sunday in a different church to promote these bags. So please check the website of African TV for the schedule. And Unidex is proud to work together with the African community and proud to receive this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What she just told you is that she took me out of my church for the past almost eight weeks and she gave me a job going to different churches. We've been traveling to churches from Belgium and all across the Netherlands giving out free promotional food bags, courtesy of Unidex. Jesus fed 5,000. Unidex is feeding over 50,000. Put your hands together for them one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she doesn't know it, but when God made man, he said it was not good for man to be alone, and he made a woman. And I say to you, for every man in the house, there is a woman for you. And when God gave me my own wife, I knew without a doubt that, okay, this is it. So, and like they say, charity begins at home. And there is a recognition award that is called Supportive, Beautiful, African Wife that goes to my wife. Please bring her. Yeah, I got a kiss on stage, yeah. 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 Yes. After God, believe it or not, that's the reason I'm standing here, that woman. That's the reason I'm standing here, after God who made me. Thank you, baby. He was not here when we called him. When I first came to the Netherlands, I met this man and I adopted him as a father. He didn't know it. He's, he was sweet to me from a spiritual point of view. When you say Rare Pastor, he's Rare Pastor. When you say Fine Boy, he's Fine Boy. When you say Social, he's Social. When you say Spiritual, He's spiritual, and I see myself in this man, and people didn't know it. And not only did he give me a chance when I first came to the Netherlands, but he's a man that I look forward to. He's a man that is my mentor, and he's a man that God has ordained as my spiritual father. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I give the recognition of spiritual leader to the one and only Pastor Ibrahim Abashi.
I will let my spiritual leader make a very short comment. It wouldn't be fair if he didn't. Well, first of all, let me say thank you, African Television and Pastor Larry. I am excited this evening to be here to see a dream come true. And for me, it's a statement to everyone here that uh, whatever dream you carry within you, regardless of whatever situation you find yourself, not everyone will believe in your dream. It's important you believe in your dream. And if you believe in your dream, even dream killers won't kill your dream. I'm excited to see what God is doing. This guy is incredible. I'm honored to be called a father. God bless you. Well, oh, ladies and gentlemen, the night is still young. We have a lot. We have one more recognition coming. But in between that, a lot of African entertaining acts. Can't I can't I shake it? 
Ayeshe mona ye wa we. Nzenze, 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 Make some noise, make some noise, everybody! 
Africa make some noise! Put your hands together for this fire kiss. The beauty of art, the sound of culture, the rhythm of life, Africa. smiling sunrises, singing sunsets. Beautiful Africa, where from cage and enslaved men, birds now roam the skies. A sign of the freedom of its people, the Africans. The struggle and the fight for a better Africa, the heroes that we bore. Looking back, say no more. Around the fire, the stories were told. The young, seated facing the old. The black man is strong, he is bold. Kunta Kinti, Nelson Mandela, it was never about them. It all goes down to the sacrifices made for Mother Africa. Adequacy, A. Freedom, F. Resources, R. Intellectual beauty, I. Culture, C. As one. Mochi Low, welcome to Africa. Thank you very much. Let's make some noise for her. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, when I want Tada, want Tada, I want Tada. I say want Tada, I say want Shada. Too good for your liking. Some of you better like it. Too good for your liking. Victoria, Tanzania, Ambedia, just in the feeling me behavior, Jampeubia, and Nibia, who like for Gang Kaiser Tasmania, eh? Who take your eyes, your penteno, who carry a damn up in Peno, who dress up better than our hip and a 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 hip and a
together for this wonderful Thank you. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, beaucoup, merci. Jump 
I love you like the snow tomorrow I never ever felt like this There's nothing I will steal or borrow I travel on a boat or aeroplane I explore road of sorrow Cause when I find you I know I don't wanna be okay See the times are changing I'm sure I'm nothing that I know Except this is us And this is love And this is where I'm home In a road that's breaking When nothing is forgiven So this is us And this is love And this is where I sleep I said this is us and this is love, and this is where I sleep. Leke leke le muwa ba moyo masia wani. Leke leke le muwa ba moyo masia wamba ba moyo masia wamba ba moyo masia wamba ba moyo masia wani. Masia na kuti kate ya swapo na ngabanda bomana. Oh yes, I put on a bandabo moana, bandabo yes, I put on a bandabo moana, bandabo moana. My precious Africa, oh, yes. <laughs> Africa is my motherland, a land full of joyful singing, a land full of beautiful dancing, a land full of intelligent youth. A land full of wise elders. When or oh when will the beauty of my beautiful Africa be shown to the rest of the world? Wow, that's fantastic. Fantastic. My Africa. My beautiful Africa. Wow. My darling Africa. <laughs> You have so many beautiful things in you. You have wildlife, you have great nature, you have beautiful people. But when will your beauty be shown to the rest of the world? Arise, O oh Mama Africa. Let the people dance on the rhythm of your beautiful drums. Let your children sing as they have never sang before, dance as they have never danced before, and let them rejoice as they have never rejoiced before. Let the people see the beauty of you, oh Mama Africa. Beautiful Africa, the land where I, where I hail from. I love you. Thank you. A mother of five on the road from all she has known to a destination unknown. Playing Russian roulette with the lives of her children, including her own. Walking hundreds of miles every day with no food and water, taking rest five times a day for her sorrows. As she kneels down on the burning ground, she prays to God, hope they make it alive. No sound of playful laughter. What do you know about struggle? A little girl at the age of six, <clears throat> deprived from her childhood with pain and mutilation, justified with entering womanhood as the town gathers for this celebration. Cut, stitched, dewomanized from God's perfection. As she cries with glistering eyes of despair, she turned to God, 
Please hear my prayer. No sound of playful laughter. What do you know about pain? Only nine years old and already heavily armed with AK-47 bigger than his premature body. Fighting his enemy not older than 11. Saying, if I die today, I will see you in heaven. Stolen innocence, a generation lost. Do we fight wars at any cost? No sound of playful laughter. What do you know about death? No sound of playful laughter, just the silent cries of the angels. <laughs> Next contestant, please. Merci beaucoup. Yakawa, Buana, Simba Lugeto, Zena Lugeto, 
Pale to ningana, pale to buanda. Kese mu yeso, kese mu yeso. Poso na mbonda, poso na mbonda. Ale matiketa, ale matiketa, ale to bina, ale to niata, ale siata pata. Eh, jidi te tiela, le tisa mangaya, tina mangaya, shiko kieli. Tous les garçons, levez vos mains. Ali no sene na Johnny Ferry Lito, imoto di akwaku, meko jamos. Voilà, allez Tobina, allez Tobina, allez Matigeta, allez Matigeta, Zinga Luketo, allez Tobina, ah, Zinga Luketo, Nyata, Mama, Zinga Luketo, Kita, allez Tokita, Nasi, allez Tokita, ah, tu sais qu'elle est, ah, tu m'as, ah, toutes les filles, levez vos mains, la rice, les sarrasons, la lait, les zongos, les filles, levez vos mains, allez tu sais qu'elle est, Zinga Luketo, ah, tu sais qu'elle est, Zinga Luketo, Mama, Nyata, ah, Zinga Luketo, Nyata, Pousa, fais ça, et RDC, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh, this is a tribute, so I'm not going to give respect to the protocols. So please, let's be on the silent and listen to the poem. I was given a duty and I did my best to write the poem in memory of Lily Crusoe. Cross over to the other show, Lily. Fly, fly. Little wings fly beyond imagining the softest cloud, the whitest dove upon the wings of heaven loves. Pass the planets and stars, leave this lowly world of ours, escape the sorrows and the pain and fly again. Lily Crusoe, fly, fly, precious one, your endless journey has begun. Take your gentle happiness too far, too beautiful for this cross over to the other shore. Lily, there is peace forevermore, but hold this memory bitter sweet until we meet. Fly, fly, Lady Crystal. Do not fear, don't waste a breath. Don't shed a tears, your heart is pure. Your soul is free, be on your way. Don't wait for me. Above the universe, we climb on beyond the hands of time. The moon will rise. The sun we said, but we won't forget you, Lily Crusoe. Fly, fly, little wing. Fly away, the time is right. Go now, find the light. Do it, Lily. Goodbye, Lily. Sleep well, Lily Crusoe. God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a tribute to Lily. Right now, we're going to welcome a young man to the stage. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call on Marvin. Marvin, he's a good musician. I want to perform for you guys. Welcome, Mr. Marvin. Mr. Marvin, put your hands together for Mr. Marvin. What up? What up, people? <laughs> what up? Right here, right now. Okay, that's me. Yeah, you gotta know that you drive me crazy If you don't mind, can I have me a minute just to talk to you? Can I have your digits? Yeah, you got me acting silly Girls everywhere, but it's just you that I'm feeling If you don't mind, let's talk for a minute This is a 
Just say you don't let shot for a minute like I heard you went single, me too I'm single Why don't we mingle? I buy you some Pringles Please don't say no, I never let you go There's something in you that make me feel so gentle Excuse me, oh Lady, you didn't make me lose my mind You didn't make me lose my mind You didn't make me lose my mind Excuse me, oh Lady, you didn't make me lose my brain You didn't make me lose my brain I say you didn't make me lose my brain I bet make you follow me, they go Oh, yeah, follow me, they go I bet make you follow me, they go I say follow me, follow me I bet make you follow me, they go Oh, yeah, follow me, they go See, see, oh, yeah, follow me, they go I say follow me, follow me Oh, na, 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 na Okay, I say, my love for you don't pass Bruce Lee. No amount of face can never make you weak. Let me sit back, let's go to shop is free. Let's go to shop is free, like we can travel to Brazil. This is Rio, this is Rio alone. Speak Rio, to Nigeria, back to my people. That'd be nice though. They would draw us a very big party. Very big, beautiful, beautiful party. People that be dancing, people that be shouting. Everybody standing to our love, they be dancing. No, back in a way, back in a way. This again, this again, this again. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, everybody be dancing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let's go, oh, yeah, We can be serious, we can speak real. Just follow me, follow me, follow me, go. Oh, na, na. Oh na na, right now man, are you ready? Oh na na, I bet when you follow me they go. I can't see you right now. I'm gonna get all your show now. Hey, right now, I bet when you follow me they go. I you follow me they go. I bet when you follow me they go. I say follow me, follow me. I bet when you follow me they go. Oh you follow me they go. I say when you follow me they go. I say follow me, follow me. Okay man, thank you. Welcoming South Sudan, a new baby born, and that infant needs your care. You hear me? You hear me, people? Let me see you. Hey, you mama. Hey, you mama. Hey, hey you mama. Hey, you mama. Oh mama, hey mama, oh hey, hey you mama, hey you mama, ah, hey you mama, oh mama, hey mama, oh hey, ya uda bija bija ri jana, kalam bija ri jana, ugi ya fa bita ki de ri jana, eh ya ana kama de ri jana, oh oh, ya bija bija ri jana, kalam. Bijari janna wai wai ya kia fabita ki deri janna wai ya deri janna beautiful Africa. Ask mama magi kore. Ask mama magi kore. Ask my mama ki kore Ask my baba ki kore We find baskets to carry water They want to and I fast the Lord It's a rat race Ooh And we are down fresh shaking every side Babylon are laying traps and crossing hands Black thirsty hearts know well, it's a tough rise. Ooh, you got to think twice, just like you wise. In the fear of Jah, me find confidence and get sweet refuse. Cha cha, rise, arise. Let the enemy scatter. Cha cha, arise, arise. Let the enemy scatter. Cha cha, arise, arise. Let the enemy scatter. Yeah, man. Do. Put our brother down. Put our brother down. Put our brother down. Real G's down there. 
you know what time it is, right? You know I'm fucking with the flies, get it. In Barcelona City. See, let's get it. We lock you down. My life will cut up. And then C O B. Reason why I'm living like M O B C. I'm driven by living on all the dreams that inside of me. So ain't no nigga that can tell me what I can be. Why for you niggas be hoping that? You hear the lottery? I be on the streets making moves and putting the hustle in. Why you ducking me? Is it cause you can cop for me? Think I give a fuck about how much money you suck away? The bigger the dreams, the bigger the problems. The richer you get, the slicker the solve them. The faker you is, the bigger the truth, the realer you be. My nigga, the longer you live. And so I walk the walk and put my trust in God I say them hypocrites but let them talk and talk My life will move you on and die Illuminati Cause wanna kill me only make me stronger bro Every time I see the sun I'm blessed That's why me I never give up on less All of my dreams are mighty first Oh Lord, me I never give up on less I am blessed Every time I see the sun That's why me I have a single song I am blessed Every time I see the sun The Friday makes can pull me down to get it, say, oh, B, the bitch, nigga, you silly moves don't fool me. The trick, nigga, you act like a friend, but I know you don't love me. I ain't gonna take a nation of you niggas to stop me. I call me cocky, but your niggas are toothless. Y'all be talking that shit, still you're fruitless. Y'all be clueless when I pull up in the truck and my top be ruthless. See, all around me, see, I'm surrounded by friend of bees. Snakes and apes trying to take my cake and the memes. But they be disguised as friends, my heart, my back, man, the bread I fall. But still, they're fighting bottles with me in the club Hollering out the niggas cause they love what it does oh, Lord. Protect me from my frenemies Separate my friends from my enemies Elevate me so I can be Rock the damn, give it off, yo Thank y'all, man Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all Ambassador I'm very happy to shake Ambassador Somalia You are welcome, you are welcome, take uh, Good evening and thank you very much. I'm really, what? Yes, it's, you don't need. I'm really very delighted to be here and I would like to thank the organizers, African TV and, and the Kalanjo who have invited me to come to this big event showing the beauty of Africa. Uh, today we have seen a lot of good stuff here. Uh, African dresses, African food, African tradition, and African songs. And I, I'm really very proud to be part of, of this event. I haven't prepared too much to talk, but I see that people are ready here to enjoy their time. So I won't take much of your time. I would like again to thank African TV and all the organizers. This is really a, a great opportunity to show the beauty of Africa. And Africa, as you know, is a, one of the most beautiful continent in the world. The only problem Africa faces is that Africa has had a lot of bad, bad presses and, and things, events like this, I am quite sure will change the image of Africa. Africa is, <laughs> Africa is the next growing, the next China. There are a lot of opportunities. Uh, African refugees who are here today, I think if you are all alive, one day we will see a lot of Europeans coming as refugees in Africa. So, 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 so I think, uh, so let's keep, let's, let's, let's keep the good work and let's uh, be one continent and let's fight for our uh, interest and the interest of our people. Thank you very much. Personally, personally, Are you ready for your decision? You have your decision. 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 I'm going to do what I want. The things within my mind. When I see you dancing, can you get me high? Personally, 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 personally,
Beautiful Africa. Are you ready? Are you ready for the moment? I know you're not ready. If you're ready, this building will shake with your sound. Are you ready? Are you ready? Before we present the Mr. B.A.D., the first ever, ever Mr. B.A.D., by the way, before we present that, we have to honor some friends, partners, and colleagues of AFTV very speedily. African Television Award to AFTV News Anchor 2014 to Samuel Eko, our news director. Please put your hands together for him. The great Eko, Pastor Eko! Not only is he the news director, he's also our international director. God bless you. Thank you. Recognition award to our AFTV intern, those who come from college and universities to help make this AFTV what it is. AFTV intern, Fred Eze Ashi, 2014 intern. Are you in the house? The next award goes to the 2013 Faithful AFTV staff. When you are called faithful, uh, faithful, it means you've really put a lot online. Please, my pleasure to give this to my brother, my assistant pastor, my marketing director, Mr. Samuel Chi Kelepo. We have another recognition award to another AFTV intern given to Amabel Schmidt, intern. 2013. Amabel Smith, are you here? Like me, I once was lost. These are the people who made it possible. Amabel Smith. The next award goes to a very strong young man. I see this man being the president of a country. I give this with all pleasure. Intern award. Recognition to Kirion Roya. Kirion, are you here? End of Africa. A very sweet guy, our cameraman, who's been working the Amsterdam office for AFTV. Oye Atanda, are you in the house? Oye Atanda, are you in the house? My CEO, we have a CEO outside the CEO in AFTV. This is the lady who checks me and puts me in check. <laughs> and she's only an intern. I love you. I'm going to miss you. Thank you for coming to AFTV. Janissa Ekmeyer, are you in the house? Jenny, baby, I'm going to miss you. Come on. It pays to work at AFTV. Next recognition award. When I say God brings good people around you, this man is a definition of that. This man came to us by way of Tanzania, lives far from the office, and has been giving us the best production. Everything you've been seeing on the screen has something to do with this man. Mr. We call him Madiba. Maziba Humphrey, AFTV production manager. Where's Humphrey? Humphrey. Humphrey Maziba. He's probably walking. Humphrey Maziba. He's not here. All right, he's walking. Humphrey. All right, he's coming. <laughs> hey. 
Ladies and gentlemen, my brother, my assistant pastor, my marketing director, Mr. Too Big Kelepo. AFTV marketing director. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 2013 BAD soundtrack. 2014 BAD soundtrack. The music will play forever for BAD. Produced and sang by this lady, the only outside woman that I know that is in the mainstream. Please put your hands together for the one and only Zara Ali, AFTV talent. AFTV Talent 2013. Actually, she has a contract with AFTV, performing contract. Yes. Then what do you do? African television. My pleasure and my honor to introduce to you the BAM editor, Thomas Van Hammert. <laughs> I told you, Dutchman can dance. <laughs> Quick. Okay. If you want to see the hardest short man, the hardest working short man that ever lived, the fast talking, shortest, smart man that ever lived, my adopted son. My beloved son, the man who's always next to me and always doing all my runs, the boy that I love with all my heart, Mr. Kasten Brooks. Kasten Brooks. In AFTV, when we started two years ago, she used to bring us food. She still brings us food. I'm sitting at my desk, and they say, Pastor, you got a phone call, and there's a delivery. It's always fufu, all kind of food, always coming, taking care of us. I love you, Mama. I will always love you. It is my pleasure to say to you that AFTV has its own Mama. We call her Mama AFTV. Please. Stand up for Lady Christy Idowu! All right, I don't think he's here. But the only American that I know that also hangs around Africans without any doubt, my beloved friend, came in as an intern from Webster University, started the BAM magazine, helped us to put the BAM magazine out. Mr. Ted Brandt, are you in the house? Ted Brandt, are you in the house? Whoa! And uh, in my hand, it pays to work at AFTV, I'm telling you. These people travel from far and wide, and, and they, they, started, they started a drama group. We have a drama group. We actually have our own series on AFTV, drama that you can watch, and it's called Sinas House Drama. And we have now 
AFTV, AFTV address, the best address from the drama group. The entire this actually goes to the entire drama group because they paid the price for AFTV. But there can only be one winner, and the best address goes to Joyce Ovunda. Joyce Ovunda. All right. All right. You know, I tell people that uh, God brings good people around you. And the best for the last. You've seen her working hard. You've seen her around. She takes all my crap. She, she's my wife. That's not my wife. It's my pleasure to please introduce to you the second in command. Her name is Funke Fatoba, Mrs. Funke Fatoba, AFTV, faithful, loyal employee. Is Joyce here? Yeah? Joyce Ovunda, best AFTV actress. Best actress, AFTV. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have the Mr.'s BAD? Can we bring the misters along with the missus? We're going to have a king and a queen. I'm reaching out for the decision. The moment. Can I have His Excellency, the Ambassador to Somalia, to please do us the honor to come on the stage and crown Somalia, 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 Somalia. Somalia. Can I have the honor? Let me tell y'all something. When you do positive things, positive result follows. I'm very proud of this lady that I'm going to call on stage. She was with us last year on the stage contesting for Miss BAD. Everybody thought she won. Spiritually, we believe she won. But by some divine reason, something did not go the way people thought. But she went further to win. Miss Super Natural Layla Aigwedo! I need my decision. I need my decision. Layla is going to help the ambassador. Allez, DJ, fais-moi les gens sauter, fais-moi les gens crier, fais-moi les bébés bouger. Leila is going to assist the ambassador to crown the mister, while His Excellency will crown the Mrs. B or Miss B.A.D. 2014. Are you ready? Are you ready? They're not ready. They're not ready. Judges are not ready. Okay, let me do something while we wait for them. By shouting, do you think Miss BAD is on this side? Wow. Okay, by shouting, do you think Miss BAD is on this side? Okay, by shouting, do you think I'm Mr. BAD? <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for the judges. The building management wants us to go and have a party on the other side. Where are the misters? Where are the men? Yeah, it's okay. We are waiting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. We are going to have a king and a queen. They like it or not. Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to do it the Apollo style. Do you think he is the Mr. B.A.D. by shouting? Do you think this is the Mr.? Okay. And he's the Mr.? And he's the Mr.? And he's the Mr.? Oh. 
We are waiting. We are waiting. We we'll see. Do you think she's the missus? Uh, behave. Be nice. Be nice. I know you bad boys. I'll pray on you. Are we ready? Yes, sir. We are ready. Um, I hope you understand. Who's first? Uh, first runner of this, uh, Is this the name? Where's the name? Yes, oh, yeah. The judges are trying to give me a technical decision that may result in controversies. You all know the story of the last Miss B.A.D. We don't want to go there. They're quick to tell a black man he's guilty even when he doesn't know anything about it. We're waiting. It's like the E on the beat. Yes, hey, this one's going. Sara, Sara. The beat is tanantana. He go make you manya manya. He nesses him manya manya. We're gonna have a mist and a missus. Make you dance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, he got a, he got a mama Africa, he got a, yeah. Make you dance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, Sara, Sara, Sara. The beat is tanantana. Please. We have two decisions in my hand for a Mr. and a Mrs. or Miss B.A.D. I am going to, we need Layla to have the crown and the sachets and His Excellency with the hat. We don't give our king those uh, funny things. We made something special for the king. I hope he fits your head, the winner. <laughs> okay, we made something special for the king. And so, it's my pleasure to give His Excellency the microphone to announce to us, I think we should do the men first, because if we, if, if we do the women, you guys will run ballistics. Excellency, we'll, we, we'll come back. Leila, Miss Supernatural, second, or now officially, the winner of first Miss B.A.D., will do the honor of naming and crowning the first ever Mr. B.A.D. And here. To step forward, the second runner up. The second runner up is Ewan. The first runner-up to step forward is Vanil. And now, the winner of Beautiful Africa Day 2014, the Mr. is Dino! <laughs> Congratulations. My pleasure to hand the microphone to His Excellency, the Ambassador of Somalia to the Royal Kingdom of Netherlands. Please put your hands together for His Excellency. He is going to take us home. Thanks, you. By, by the way, thanks for the opportunity. 
Uh, the second run up is Naomi. Please, Naomi, come here. The first run up is Adama. Adama. I'm honored to announce the winner for tonight for Mrs. Uh, PAD Africa, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, you are my African queen. Ooh, la, ooh, la. Just like the sun lights up the earth, it lights up my life. The only one I ever see with a smile so bright And just yesterday You came around my way You took my horse and way With your astonishing beauty Oh, you couldn't make a brother sing No ordinary thing, a supernatural being And no, you are brighter than the moon Brighter than the star I love you just the way you are And you are my African queen A girl of my dreams You take me where I've never been You make my heart go ding a ling a ling Oh, you are my African queen The girl of my dreams And you remind me of a thing And that is the African beauty Everybody, come take a picture Picture, picture, ladies, please come forward Come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the party continues right outside this room till 1 a.m. The party continues. Thank you for BAD. We'll see you in 2015. God bless you. Thank you. Just tell him or her that uh, you have to be strong, so to be like anyone. So today, I think we have a big message to ever everybody who living here in Europe, telling them that we are also are here, and I hope one day uh, people they will like us because uh, a lot of people they don't. Uh, we are not so considered. We feel that we are not not consider uh, as others but we used to consider others so this today improving that uh, we are able like anyone i'm uh, from a new uh, country called south sudan viewers today is beautiful african day as you see there is a beautiful people and right now on my side there is a uh, sudanese people and we had a lot of funny from sudanese who say thank you and thank you. we see you again thank next you. year for the beautiful African Day thank 2015. You thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. It's beautiful. Uh, all African. Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, which country are you coming from? I'm from Nigeria. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, uh, what do you think about next year? What else we should improve on beautiful African Day? Um, the timing of everything because everything is like everybody. It's just been delayed, and you know uh, the organization is kind of. You know, little uh, mistakes, but if you guys you can just, but the rest, I love it. Thank so, you so much. Not too much. Don't change too much. I love the way it is. But just more, you know, more taste, so you know, more Africans. It was a wonderful night, but I'm disappointed because Miss Somalia didn't win, so I'm sad. I don't know. I don't know. No comments. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it is uh, quite interesting. And uh, we look for more. We look for more forward for this kind of events okay. here in the diaspora, in order to boost in the, the to help the African, uh, the African in the in the Europe. And is it your first time to attend Beautiful African Day? Yes, that's very correct. This is my first time. And we hope to see you again next year. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, because basically what we do. We are I'm from uh, Kapam Oil International, but what we do now is we are on the process of building a mini refinery in Nigeria. So hopefully, if we are still on the project, maybe as God willing, 
you may be, I may be here for next year. We hope God will, we will and we see you again next year. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm a bit busy at this stage, but uh, yeah, if you, you can for a quick question, no problem. Um, I see you're wearing very nice African shirt. May I know where, where is it made and um, who is the design of the shirt? Uh, this is Flisco, uh, made in the Netherlands, um, which we already uh, received an award for tonight um, because we are clothing in Africa since 1846. Um, and this has been made in the Netherlands, um, and this is the authentic uh, Plisco product. And how does a customer um, uh, get your contacts and buying your product? Did you sell your products today? Uh, no, we only uh, showed them as an uh, exposition, but uh, everyone can go to www.flisco.com and there they can find all the information they would need uh, to purchase the product. Thank you so much viewers. You can go to www.flisco.com and you can find material like this. It's very beautiful for Africa. You can make them to anything you want. The blazer, the jacket, uh, the dress or the shirt. And it's beautiful. It's African day. Well, I am from Lagos. You uh, come all the way from Lagos just only for the beautiful African day. No, no, no. We had a conference yesterday. Oh, yeah. And I presented a paper on African philosophy. Comparing it with Western philosophy, that is what I do. Uh, for over 50 years, the argument has been on whether there's African philosophy or not. Those who say yes, they say African philosophy is inferior. I've just discovered and I've tried to show them that African philosophy is actually superior because it is quantum physics. It is philosophy. This, this was the program I took. And there are about 10 of us. I am the only woman. From Africa. From Africa. From Africa. Wow, that's And nice. my position is African philosophy. Okay. And my study shows that we were taught that democracy is a gift of the Greeks. That it started in Greeks, then it went to France, then it came to America. Mm -hmm. Then I studied the African culture. And I know. From beginning, that is my new book, where I, 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 I try to show that this is a Greek, this is a Yoruba man representing Africa. And the two of them express similar ideas, except that the West believes that reality, mind and matter are in opposition. For the African, they are complementary. And so whatever the African does, when he puts men, he must put a woman. Yes. But in Athens, only men were there. It's not democracy, but made chauvinism. In France, it was made. In America, when we say we are all born equal, they did not include women. The women in America did not have voting rights until 1929. But in Africa, we always put our women in our democracy. Thank you, madam. We hope you enjoy the beautiful African and we Day and we welcome you again for the next year. And my name is Abdul Kadir. I am I'm, I'm uh, from Somalia. I'm very happy to be here tonight because of uh, all African countries they are getting they are coming here and uh, so it, it, it shows me uh, grateful and it gives me happy to be here and I'm very I, I hope all African countries to change and uh, to be one of the developing countries. Thank you. Thanks for your time. I'm Ted Bryan. Well, I just for AFTV. Well, uh, my name is Apostle Helen Rudokeno. I'm a reverend minister and at the same time a media personnel. Wow. So I'm the director of Radio Voice of Niger. So this, uh, this, this day I think is an exceptional day and we are so proud of our colleague in the Lord, Pastor Larry, for what God is using him to do. And uh, what is your decision about the winner of a beautiful African day? Well, I believe that the choice that the judges have made stands firm. So, she, she, she's excellent. Thank you so much and we hope you're going to enjoy the beautiful African Day food because there is uh, food from different countries, from East Africa, from Nigeria, from Ghana. Everything is here and it's really homemade African food. That I have seen and uh, I pray that um, uh, God will sustain this vision for AFTV and that uh, they will go to high places. I'm Javis Clifford from Amsterdam.
Yeah. From where? From Amsterdam. From Amsterdam. Is it your first time to attend Beautiful African Day? No, this is my second time. Last year, we were privileged to be opportune to be one of the African Knights in Netherlands. So, and this year, we are coming to see the progress of the unity of the movement, which our brother is taking care of. So, I'm, I'm happy to see that the whole thing went so successfully. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. My name is Patience, Patience Ode, and I'm coming from Zwolle. I'm a Nigerian, yes. But I live here in the Netherlands almost 16 years now. So I love my African culture, so I decided to put this on, at least to show the beauty of my, of my country, of my, yeah. It's really beautiful. Is it your first time to attend Beautiful African Day? Yeah, this is my very first time and I had fun. It was really nice. Uh, it was nice and great. We thank God for this kind of occasion. People coming together to socialize with themselves, know each other, you know. It's something good. And we're expecting more of this, maybe next year. We hope to improve much more next year. Thank you so much and we're happy to hear that you enjoyed. It's a great day. It's a, it's a great day. I, I'm, a, I'm the manager of Godfrey Lado, and uh, this was my first day on a beautiful Africa day, and I really enjoy the enthusiasm of the of the people and the artists. Oh, thank you. And uh, there's so much commitment to, to all the performances and um, yeah, all the things that uh, are uh, organized here. It's very good uh, energy. Yeah, very good vibe. I'm really very looking forward to next year. You see me, I enjoy it. It's pepper and this is nice food. African food is the best. My name is Zubi. I'm from Nigeria. How do you find the day? Oh, fantastic. Is it your first time to attend Beautiful African Day? No. Second time. How do you see, uh, how can you compare from the last year, Beautiful African Day, to today's Beautiful think, uh, this, this This year is well organized. Uh, than last year and uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, the way the organizer put things in place are very quite uh, professional and it is 100% uh, okay for me and I hope that next year will be better than this year. I hope so. My name is uh, Rahema Rosemary Simkoko. I'm coming from Tanzania. Swahili or English? English. I'm coming from Tanzania. Okay, and how do you find today's uh, beautiful African day? Yes, I find it really beautiful and uh, I'm really happy to be here and uh, participating. But we want to have more than this today. Yes. Thank you so much and we hope to see you again next year. Thank you very much.